the day. Hallelujah. It's the Hebrew uh, letter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. And all the Hebrew nugget is, is amen, just to continually put before you <clears throat> who the real people of Israel are, amen, uh, and it's us. We the Israelites, amen. We the Hebrews, amen. And everything that you watch on TV and read and the media and everything like that is, 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 is uh, uh, designed to take that knowledge away from you. And so, amen, I'm going to show you a little piece, few more pieces of evidence, amen, some of it that you've seen, some of it maybe that you have not seen, but it's always good to remind you, amen. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you is that the president of Egypt, amen, in the 40s and the 50s, amen, his name was uh, Abdel Nazem, amen. They had asked him, they say, why can't the Ashkenazi Jews that's currently in Israel today, why can't they ever be peace with them? You know what I'm saying? And now Nabdal Azim, uh, uh, Gamal, Gamal Abdel Nazar said this. This is the president of Egypt. He says, the Jews will never be able to live here in peace because they left here black and came back white. That's what he said. He's the president of a country. Amen. So what I'm saying is that the current ones over there, they're not the real ones. They're imposters. Amen. If you know your geography, you, you know, amen, that, hallelujah, that region of the world has a certain climate, amen. And that climate is built for a certain complexion, amen. And so this is what he's saying. They left black and they came back white. Let me show you how they left. Let me give you some pictures again to show you that again. Remember, that's the hieroglyphics that came out of Assyria when we were taken, amen, out of Assyria. That's the hieroglyphics. That's a brother with some BDBs. Y'all remember that? Go, keep on going, amen. Them brothers locked up, you know what I'm saying? And the funny thing is, like John Mark, John Mark, show them what you got. And the funny, the funny thing is, me and my wife talk about it all the time. We can tell that something is happening because we're getting back to that. Anybody here, man? We're getting back to, you know what I'm saying? We're getting back to, to who we are, amen. And it's an awakening, amen. All right, let me show you another one, amen. Just to kind of show you, hallelujah, look at that brother right there, look at that, beady beads in his beard, you know what I'm saying? Hallelujah, that's not, that's not the ones that you see in Jerusalem today, that's us. I'm going to show you this last video clip, this is a rabbi, amen, uh, from Israel, and he's going to talk about, amen, uh, who the real Israelites are, and uh, uh, I just want to show you this for a couple of minutes. Another area in Africa you have uh, something big happening is in Nigeria. You have the Igbo people, or Igbo, pronounced either way. There's 40 million of them, also Christians, like I spoke about before, how that could happen to the children of Israel very easily. But also a lot of them are now coming out and converting back or adopting the, the rules of the Torah without all the paganism that they've been practicing for hundreds of years. There's been books written about it from scholars in Nigeria, from scholars from the Jewish people. And where it gets interesting is, in America, there was a slave trade. And a lot of the slaves, a very high percentage of them, came from Western Nigerian ports. And in America today, you see a, a very large movement of African Americans who say that they're the real chosen people, that they're the children of Israel, they're the Judeans. You know, so what, are they just trying to create a, an identity for themselves because they were slaves? Or is there really something here? And the answer is, most likely there is something there. And most likely, maybe that they were the original Israelites. And maybe that the Jewish people today who are white Caucasian people um, came in a little bit later on. We know that some of the greatest sages of the transmission of the Torah were converts from Rome. You have a man named Uncleus who, who wrote a commentary in the Torah, unprecedented, stop. that we still learn today. You can today. stop it right there. He was a convert. You hear when he talk about, amen, that they do have something there. And he say that the European Jews came later. That's the conversion. And when he was talking, y'all heard some sounds happen. That's people getting up and leaving. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't want to hear the truth. Amen. But more and more, amen, uh, Hebrews, and more and more Europeans, 
Amen. Or come into this knowledge. And it's not only a knowledge that's going to bless us, it's a knowledge that's going to bless them. Because the current ones that's ruling, amen, they not, they, that's not, that's not good at all. You know, they've been leading the world astray. But the Bible speak of a time, amen, where Israel and Judea are going to rise up again. And here we are. We are in this moment. You've always prayed that you would be born during a, a time of great importance. You always say, man, if I was there during Martin Luther King or Abraham Lincoln, if I was there, amen, during the times of World War II. Let me tell you, the people during Dr. King's day, the people doing civil rights, will wish that they were born during the time as this. It's a time in which we go back. We go back to who we really are. We discover our identity again, just like the book of Barak said, they will remember themselves. Come on, show God that we remember. Show God that we remember. This is the time. Come on, give God some glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, saints of God, that's the Hebrew nugget of today. We're going to get up in this word, amen. We want to look at Acts chapter 4. And... <laughs> yeah. Praise the Lord.